Before this video starts, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future tech tutorials. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use a dropper tool with Google products like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Drawings, etc. So unfortunately, uh, Google products don't offer the dropper tool um, by default, so you'll have to download a uh, Chrome extension to use it. A dropper tool is usually available on um, editing software, so you can drag the dropper onto a certain color or image, and the computer will identify the, um, the exact color, and then you can use that color for text or boxes. So let's get started. First of all, go to the Chrome Web Store and download iDropper. The link will be in the description below. And once you've downloaded that, go to a web page or image that you want to uh, copy the color from. So for example, I'll search up red car and then go to extensions, go to eyedropper, and then click on pick color from web page. Now drag your cursor onto the exact uh, place where you want to copy the color, click, and then go to Google Docs or any Google product. So once you're here, go to uh, text, highlight, or um, yeah, and then go to custom, and then go to extensions, click on eyedropper, and then copy the hashtag um, CC2C29 or whatever um, code that's uh, associated with your color. It should be right in, in the selected section. Copy that and uh, paste it into the hex area. And then it should automatically select the um, co exact color. Press OK. And then whatever you type should be in that color. Oh, I need to get rid of the highlight. But yeah, as you can see, it's in that exact red color. And if I want to highlight it in a different color, all I have to do is say I wanted to highlight it in green. Go to eyedropper, pick the green, and then uh, copy and paste that into the hex of the highlight. As you can see, the highlight um, is in that exact color. And now for boxes or uh, shapes in Google Drawings, for all the Google products, it's pretty much the same. So get a shape, and then go to fill color, go to custom, and then copy and paste the hex. I'll just do the green from before. And there you go. You can also do that for border color. So I'll do the red again. And as you can see, it sh uh, the border will be red if I increase the, the width. And that's about it. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped. It's not a game, sir.